Here we go. Draco and Vampire came to contort me. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly my eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. N no. <laughs> I screamed sexily. Suddenly I locked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony, Ebony, are you alright? Asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. Everything's alright, Anobi, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. Oh my fucking god, what if I'm getting possessed like in Ring 2? It's okay, girl, said Blue to Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean, though. <laughs> okay, bitch, I said sadly, <laughs> and then we went. Uh, konnichiwa, everybody. Come in, uh, said the Professor Sinister in Japanese. She smelled at me with her gothic black lipstick. She had long, dead black hair with blood-red tips and red eyes. She's the coolest fucking teacher ever. I raced my hand. I was wearing some black nail polish with red pentagrams on it. What is it, Sister? Oh, I love your nail polish. Where did you get it? Hot the topic? Yeah, I answered. All the preps who didn't know what Hot Topic was gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When do you want to do it? Oh, about now, she asked. Okay, I said. Okay, Corazzo fucking dismissed everyone. Professor Trevor said that she let everyone go. Okay, I'm having lots of visions, I said in a worried voice. I'm so worried, is Draco going to die? Well, she gave me a black cryptal ball to look in. I looked at it. What do you see? She asked. <laughs> I said I see a black gothic skull and a pentagram. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. I looked at it. It was Draco. He was looking really sexy, wearing a black leather facet, a black gothic Lincoln Park t-shirt, and black congress shoes. Okay, you can go now see what I want to, said the Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said, waving. Chapter 25. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? If you don't, then I'll tell Justin to beat you up, and I'll tell all the readers to put <laughs> viruses on your computer. F*** you, Raven Fangs for the help. I was so excited. I followed Draco, wondering if we were going to do it again. We went outside, and then we went into Draco's black car. He started to fly the car into a tree. We went on top of it. Draco put on some MCR. We started tilling off each other's clothes fervently. He took off my black thong and my black leather bar. I took off his black boxes. Then he put his throbbing you-know-what into my tool, sexually. Oh my f***ing god, Draco, Draco. I screamed, having an orgasm. We stated Frenching passively. Suddenly, I fell asleep. I started having a dream. In it, a black guy was shooting two gothic men with black long hair. No! Please don't f***ing kill us! They flee him. Well, he just kept shooting them. No! Oh my f***ing god, I shouted in a scared voice. Ebony, what's wrong? Draco asked me as I woke up, opening my icy blue eyes. Oh, I started to cry, and tears of blood went down my face. I told Draco to call Vampire. He did with his black Lincoln Park mobile. But the worst thing was who the people who were shot in the dream were. Lucian and Sirius. Chapter 26 a few mutates later, Vampire came to the tree. He was wearing a black leather jackson, black leather pants, and a good Charlotte t-shirt. Hi, Vampire, I said flirtily as I started to sob. Draco hugged me sexily, triumphed to comfort me. I started to cry tears of blood and then told them what happened. Now come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into the castle. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. 
Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said, while we whipped some tears from his white face. Inobi had a vision in a dream. Dumbledore started to cockle. <laughs> and how do you expect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I glared at Dumbledore. Look, mother fucker, he said angrily as Dumbledore gasped. See, is that tooth of cracker? <laughs> you know very well that I'm not decisional. Now get some fucking people out there to look for Ceres and Lucian. Ponto. Okay, he said in an intimidated voice. Where are they? I thought about it. Then all of a sudden, Longden, I said. I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going out to look for them. Suddenly, Sirius and Lucian came in on stretches, and Professor Sinister was behind them. Chapter 27. Vampires will never hurt you. Everyone in the room stated to cry happily. I had saved them. What? <laughs> Draco, what the Lucian, Sirius Bond, Vampire all came to hug me. The nurse started to give them medicine. Mm, come on, Ebony. <laughs> Said the professor it's the doctor. I have to tell you the f***ing perdition. I locked at Lucian, Seraphs, Drake, and Vampire. They nodded. I smelled happily and went into a dark room. <laughs> I had changed. Professor Sinister took out some black cards. She started to look into a black crucible ball. She said, Who is Terra? Terra! I see Draco times are near. She said the battery. She peered into the balls. You see, you must go back in time, or... She took out a time toner like Bloody Mary had. When the Voldemort was in Hogwarts, before he became powerful, he got his hearth broken. Now do you think he would still become a Voxamort if he was in a rover? I shook my head. You must go back in time and said I will see him. It is the only way. If he is still evil, then you must kill him. Okay, I said sadly. I went outside again, sadly. Chapter 28. What, what happened? happened? Asked Draco and Vampire. Yeah, yeah what, what happened? happened? Asked everyone else. The problem is, I have to seduce Volsamort. I'll have to go back in time. Draco started to cry sadly. Vampire hugged him. It's okay, Ibobi, he said finally. But what about me? You're not gonna break up or anything, are you? Of course not, I gasped. Really? he asked. Sure, I said. We French sexily. Vampire looked at us longingly. Then, I took off Draco's My Chemical Romance shrift and seductively took off his pants. He was hung like a Stallone. He had replaced the vampire tattoo. That said Anobi on it. Black roses were around it. I gasped. He looked exactly like Gerard Way. Vampire took a video camera. I had said it was okay before. I took off my clothes, and we were in for the ride of our lives. We started Frenching as we climbed into the coffin. He put his Spock in my you-know-what, and passively, we did it. I love you, Abobi. Oh, let me feel you. I need to feel you, he screamed as we got an orgasm. We watched Vampire filmed everything perfectly. Suddenly... What the f*** are, are you doing? What the are you doing? It, it was Snoop and Professor McGoggle. Chapter 29. Oh my Satan! We screamed as we jumped out of the coffin. Snap and Professor McGoonagle started to shoot at us angrily. Come now! We did it guiltily. 
We left the room putting on our clothes. Snoop garbed the caramel and put it in his pocket. Hey, what the fuck? Vampire shoot it angrily. Yeah, buster. What the fuck are you going to do with the fucking camera? Draco demanded all protected. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Snoop laughed meanly. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you insolent fools! Yelled Professor McGoggle. She made us come into a weird room with white stones all around it. Draco started to cry all sexy and sexative. Get it? Because he's a sex bomb, lol. And then, he and Snoop both took out guns using magic. They started to shoot each other angrily. None of the ballots got on each other yet. I took out my wand. Crossio, I shout. Snape started to scram. He dropped the gun. Ah. But it was too late. Both of them had run out of ballets. I stopped to curse. Professor McGoogle did a spell so that they were all chained up. She took out a box of tools. Then she said, Okay, Cerberus, I'm going to go now. She left. Snap started to laugh evilly. <laughs> Vampire started to cry. <laughs> it's okay, Anobi, said Draco. Evergreen will be all right. Remember the city o you took of Snake. Snape laughed again. <laughs> and then... He took out some whips. No! We screamed sadly. <laughs> he took out a camera anvily. Then, he came towards Darko. He took some stones out of his pocket. He put the stones around Draco and knit a candle. What the fuck are you doing? I shouted angrily. Snoop laughed meanly. <laughs> he pulled down his pants. I gasped. <gasps> there was a dork mark on his you-know-what. He waved his wand and a knife came. He gave the knife to me. You must stab Vampire, he said to me. If you don't, then I'll wrap Draco. No, you fucking bastard, I yielded. Snape laughed angrily. <laughs> he started to pray to Voldemort. He started to do an incapacitation dance around the strokes whipping Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, an idea I had. I closed my eyes and using my vampire powers, I sent a telepathic massage to Draco and Vampire so that they would distract Snape. Dumbledore will get you, Draco shoot it. Yeah, just wait until the mystery find out. God damn it. Vampire yelled. Meanwhile, I took out my wand. You ridiculous Donderhead. Snoop yielded. He took off all of Draco's clothes. Yeah, just as he was about to rape it. Crossio, I shitted, pointing my wound. <laughs> Snoop scrimmed and started running around ah. the room screaming. Ah, Meanwhile, I... what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> that's just hot. Meanwhile, I grabbed my black mobile and sent a text to Sirius. I stopped doing Crucio. You dunderhead. Shoot at Snape, but suddenly, Cerverus came. Snake put the whip behind his back. Oh, oh, oh hello, Serv. I was just teaching them something. He lied. But suddenly, Lucian and Professor Trevelry came into the room, and they and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka, Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching them something, Snape clammed. Oh, f***ing yeah. And then... A big black car that said 666 on the license plate flew straight through the windows. And Snap was in it. Chapter 44. Author's note. Well, I have nothing to say, but Everett, stop glamming, okay? If any gothic people are reading this, then you rock. 
Oh my god, I still can't wait for the movie. Tom Flatten is so hot. Lol, I hop Harry will become gothic because my friend told me he is really emo in this book. OMFG, I'm leaving W pretty soon, can't wait. This will probably be the last chapter until I come back. That's me car! Shoot it, Draco, angrily. But suddenly, it was revealed who was in the car. It was... Voldemort! Now I shall kill the all! Thunder came in the room. No, please don't kill us, pleaded Vampire. My god, look at this casting call. Suddenly, Willow, Baludi Mary, Diablo, Ginny, Drocula, Fred, and George, Hagrid, McGonagall, Dumbledore, Sirius, and Lucian all ran in. What is the meaning of this? And Voldemort looked away, because Dumbledore is the only wizard that he is scared of. He did a spell, and suddenly his broomstick came to him sexily. Voldemort flew above the roof evilly on his broomstick. Oh my goth! Slugborn gasped. Get it? Cause I'm gothic. The Dark Lord shall kill all of you. Then you must submit to him, Snake ejaculated menacingly. Cruciatus! screamed Harry. But the sparks from his wand only hit Draco's car. It fell down. Snap quickly crawled out of it and picked up the studio camera. Oh my fucking god! I cried because the video of me in the bathroom, the video of me doing it with Draco. If you kill me, then these videos will be shown to everyone in the skull. Then you can just be like that gothic girl, Paris Hilton. <laughs> he, he laughed meanly. No, I screamed. I saw too, she's gonna show everyone to Pictor! Harry shouted angrily. Shut up! Lumpkin roared. Foolish ignoramuses! Yielded Voldemort from his broomstick. Thou shall all die soon! Die! Think again, you fucking muggle poser! Harry yelled. And then he and Diablo and Navel both took out black guns. But Voldemort took out his own one. You guys are in a Latin standoff, I shouted desperately. Echo Neville's wand, cried Voldemort. It suddenly, Neville's wand was in his hands. Now I shall kill thee all, and Ebony, you will die. He made lightning come all over the place. Save us, Ebony! Dumbledark cried. I cried sexily. I just wanted to go to the common room and slip my wrists with my friends as we watched Shark Attack 3 and Saw 2 and do it with Draco. But I knew I had to do something more impotent. <laughs> Abracadabra! I shooted. Is that the end? That is the end. Holy shit. And that's it. 80 minutes of incomprehensible drivel. Thank you for tolerating it. It's all just going to be notifications and thanks from here on, so feel free to quietly walk out the door. Um, I'll do a short video at some stage on the origins of the author. I think there's quite an interesting story there. There have been a few people to claim to be Tara Gillespie, but uh, I'm not too confident in any of them, to be honest. Um, I'm going to do more of these because, frankly, they're fun. And there are a couple stories in particular that that need to be brought to the big screen. Um, uh, one of them is Sonic High School, uh, and the other is Jeff the Killer, and Jeff the Killer in particular, because somehow it has risen to be one of the most popular creepypastas of all time, and it is absolutely one of the worst quality. So I'm hoping to change a few hearts and minds on that. Right, now shout outs. Shout out to Sorry TV. Thanks very much for doing this, and, and for your fantastic range of characters. Um, 
uh, an apology to Chris Reagan. He had uh, a spot in the final scene, actually. In chapter 39, there's this hacker character that supposedly hacks into Tara Gillespie's account and does all these things to the narrative that's very meta. And I got him to record the lines and everything, and he did a good job, but um, it just didn't work in the flow, and it looked as though we had written this thing into the script rather than actually already having been there. So uh, I just cut the whole thing out. By the way, this is also an abridged version. The proper version is twice in length, and features a subplot involving a teenage heartthrob love interest, Tom Riddle, um, if you're looking for more. What else have we got? Uh, do, oh, no, Nord, NordVPN, if I haven't mentioned them. Um, and that's about it. Fangs. <laughs>